25th day of December, when ages beyond number had run their course from the creation of the world. When God in the beginning created heaven and earth and for man in his own likeness, when century upon century had passed since the Almighty set his bow in the clouds after the great flood as a sign of covenant and peace. In the 21st century, since Abraham our father in faith came out of the earth of the Chaldees. In the 13th century, since the people of Israel were led by Moses in exile from Egypt, Around the thousandth year since David was anointed king in the 45th week of the prophecy of Daniel in the 194th Olympiad in the year 752 since the foundation of the city of Rome in the 42nd year in the reign of Caesar Augustus Octavian the whole world being at peace. Jesus Christ, eternal God and Son of the Eternal Father, desiring to consecrate the world by his most loving presence was conceived by the Holy Spirit. And when nine months had passed since his conception was born of the Virgin Mary in Bethlehem of Judah and was made man. The Nativity of our Lord Jesus Christ according to the flesh. Brothers and sisters, that is the great Christmas proclamation. A statement of history. At the moment, I am sitting out here in a field below my mountain. And I'm at the moment aiming my phone south up at the mountain. Straight ahead of me, looking east, overlooking my lake. And to the north, overlooking my caboose. Some say this is the most wonderful time of the year. It's not always. Some of us have difficult anniversaries at this time of year, whether it be a loved one that we have lost or other things of that nature. Those kind of difficult things still happen even 
during Christmas time. So for some people, it's very painful to come to a holiday. For some people, it's hard to have that first Christmas after a spouse, a child, or someone else we've lost. That first Christmas without them. I myself this week um, have lost a wonderful friend. Uh, my dog Bernadette has disappeared. Don't know where she is. My hope is that she died of a heart attack and died peacefully. It's hard though because I have no closure. I would give anything to know where her body is so I could bring her home and bury her. And that is so hard. So yeah, this has been a difficult Christmas for me. It's also been a joyful one. I just want to say a special thank you to my parish, Blessed Mother. I love you all so much. And Father Mike Clark, my pastor. You all have helped to get me through this week. And it's not just my dog's disappearance that's been difficult. We've had three funerals just this week at Blessed Mother. And yesterday, uh, yesterday morning, I gave last rites to two people in the hospital. I can't imagine what that family is going, the two families are going through that are having to deal with a loved one's decline here at Christmas. As I said, it's not easy for all of us. But here's the thing. With all of that said, with our difficulties, those enduring the aftermath of tornadoes, COVID, so many things, we still have something to celebrate, someone to celebrate, and that is Christ. As I proclaimed in the Christmas proclamation, He wanted to be present with us. He wanted to make His dwelling place with us, to take on our flesh to endure our sufferings so that someday we won't have to suffer anymore and we can have resurrection, redemption, salvation, and be with Him. So yes, even when we have difficult times, we don't need to lose sight of the real meaning of Christmas, not the presents, not the latest deal on Amazon or whatever it may be, but that Jesus, God, came down from heaven and became one of us, taking on our flesh so he could redeem it. That's what we celebrate. So no matter what difficulties we endure, let's celebrate he suffered and died on the cross for us. That's something to be thankful for and to celebrate. And he still gives himself to us every day in the Eucharist. His body, blood, soul, and divinity. We can touch the edge of the universe every time we receive Jesus in Holy Communion. What a great gift that is. So may we celebrate. May we love. I challenge us Instead of focusing so much on gifts, be a gift. Make memories with our loved ones. I didn't give very many gifts this year. I can count on one hand the number of gifts that I got. One of the most beautiful gifts that I gave wasn't a physical thing. It was an experience. This evening I celebrated in my train station uh, Christmas with my family. My gift to them was to provide them a space big enough for all of us to enjoy, to have supper, and we ended with praying the solemn prayer of the church, evening vespers. What a great gift. It was a gift to me to be able to give that. Let us keep making memories. Let us keep making stories. That's what we celebrate. 
the great story and memory of Jesus Christ coming among us. Let's be gift, accept his gift, carry it to the ends of the world. May we not be afraid of the difficult moments. He will take care of us. Christ is born. Give him glory. Amen.